Hey everyone, this is Aaron Walker of Spotlight Studios and I'm glad to be your guitar teacher today for Baby Please Come Home. Uh, a lot, a lot of people have covered this song. I'm doing the Dustin Kinsrew arrangement because I really like Dustin Kinsrew and I want you to like Dustin Kinsrew too so you can check out his albums. Um, and also he just has a really simple pop rock arrangement, okay? So this is gonna be the simplest way that I can arrange this song, okay? So in that, with that in mind, he plays the song in the key of G. It's okay if you don't know what that, if you don't know what that means right now. But you're gonna capo the seventh fret, okay? Um, now, once we capo seven, our chords are going to be a C, an E minor, an F, a G, and then A minor at some point. Okay, there's only five different chords in the song. Okay, if you don't know those chords, you need to check out my other videos. Right. Now, uh, let's see. There, I'm seeing. I'm. There's like an A section and a B section. Okay, so the A section goes C, E minor, F, and G. Each of those chords, um, you change chords after two counts of four. Okay, so meaning one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, 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 one. The intro of Dustin's arrangement is really helpful for you beginners because it really is, you just strum it once and you wait two counts of four, then you're able to change your chord and make it really clean, okay? That's one of the two most important things about guitar playing is making really clean chord shapes, okay? Don't allow yourself to make a chord that sounds like if you slow down, what's wrong with my top two strings? You've got to slow down and make sure you can hear everything nicely, okay? So that's the beginning of the song is good because it changes really slowly so you can make sure that those are clean, okay? Now, um, right, so that was the A section, C, E minor, F, and G, okay? The uh, the B section, I guess you I'm calling it, you go C, two, three, four, two, three, four. There's our A minor, four, one, two, and then you go to the F, two, three, four, two, two, and then back to G. And then you're at the uh, A section again, right there. All right, now, um, so those are the chords we're gonna use. You can really reference the video that, you know, that I played at the beginning of this to uh, know the arrangement of those chords. Okay, so let's talk about the strum pattern, okay? Having a really rock solid, you know, strum pattern and keeping a real consistent meter is what makes your guitar playing go from not so good or mediocre to very good and just something that you want to listen to, okay? All your favorite records the players play just rock solid, okay? That's what you're aiming for, okay? You want to mimic that. You want to imitate what they're doing. You want to follow best practices, right? So the, the rhythm might be, um, let me just play just on the C, the rhythm. One and two and three and four and 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 so it's one and two you hit one two and and uh, uh. how would I count that one two oh wait one two oh my gosh I can't do it one two and and three and four and four and four and one two and and four and one two and and four and yeah so that's kind of weird so you notice it's just one and two and three and four i'm just choosing when to not strike the strings okay that's the difference between like some of my students like staring at my hands and oh i'll hit it down when he hits it down and i'll hit it up when when he hits it up like you need to internalize internalize it and just take ownership okay so what i'm asking you to do is you need to feel this rhythm the whole time just like you would tap your foot to the pulse of the music you would like kind of have this hand moving down across the strings not like this you literally need to cross the strings okay you'll notice when i'm playing this rhythm i never this arm never stops like no matter what chords i'm playing Yes, this arm is keeping it straight, all right? So here, we're gonna take this a step at a time. Do this with me, ready? One, two, three, four. One and two, ready, go. One and two, do it again. One and two. You got it? 
gotta be having you gotta have that solid. Okay, we're gonna add the next step, and that sounds like one and two and ready go. One and two and one, two, ready go. One and two and one, two, ready go. One and two and let me actually stop for a second and say something really important. So after you do one and two and this hand like I said a, a minute ago, it has to go back down for beat two. So you should actually aim for this, okay? I want to hear you hit it right there. He just, with, with my knuckles, I like hold my pick and I just kind of, my knuckles, I don't know if you can see this. I can just kind of hit it. I can still strum, but I can hit it. So I want you to hit it on two. One and two and hit. One and two and got to get down there on beat two so that you're ready to go up on the end of two, okay? One and two and three and, or the end of three, sorry. One and two and three and, like that, okay? So uh, let me back, let me back it up a step. We're making, making this as simple as I can, okay? Let's go to step one. That's down and down on one and two. One and two and ready, go. One and two. Add the next step. Oh, I'm sorry. One, two, and. One and 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 two, and. Now, once that's so rock solid, you can move on to the next step with me. One and two, and three, and. One and two and oh wait sorry one and two and three and let's put that on a loop which is a great way to practice one and two and three and ready go ready go ready go ready go. time all right now what's the next step yes we're just gonna do a down up immediately after everything you've just accomplished and then you're on the you're, you gotta just repeat it and we're good so what we just did down down up up we're just gonna add a down up immediately right there down down up up down up you hear that down up right there one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so i'm gonna do one and then f uh, uh, uh rest for four beats and then we'll do it again and the rest for four beats let's do this ready one all right three four one and two and three and four and one two ready go one and two and three and four and one two ready go one and two and three and four and two ready go one and two and three and four and one ready go ready go ready go ready If you could go that far, you are on the home stretch. You're sounding really good. Now, let's. You just have to sandwich the two of those together. It's harder than you think, but um, a good way to maybe do it is just to, after that down up. The next beat that you strum down is beat one. One and two and three and four and one. That one right there starts the riff over again. One and two and three and four and 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and might be going a little fast three and four and one and two and 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 three and four you gotta feel that groove it's gotta feel good What I find that really helps is if you're like kind of singing that bump, 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 bump in your head, and then just kind of like making that match your finger. If you, as long as you're keeping this straight, y'all, you'll be good. Bump, 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 that's a weird song all right now um that's gonna be the rhythm for the whole song i mean i think it might be a little faster in the recording now thing number one that's super important about guitar playing was what it's making really clean chords not but that perfectly clean thing number two is being able to do the rhythm through chord changes while you know, whenever you change the chord, it immediately sounds great. Okay, so meaning, let me just demonstrate, that'd be easier. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and one. The split second that I get to one, I check myself. Oh, great, I can hear everything. That's what you're aiming for. If you can change between the two, one and two and three and four and two and two and three and four. Just go back and forth. That'd be great practice. All right. So let's talk about this. It's two counts of four on each chord. So you just break it down like I just did from C and then just do just to E and just practice that until that's really good. And then just practice E to F until that's really good. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. That one's a little harder, right? Because you have to lift and move so many, like a lot more fingers than you would from C to E, okay? Some chord changes are easier than others, of course. So um, let's keep trying that. Let's do that for another minute. One, two, ready, go. to do it again. One, two, last time. All right, and then you practice from F to G. Let's do it. F to G, go. Two, ready, go. Last time, ready, go. And then finally, G to C. You've got to break each one of these down. One, two, ready, go. Two, ready, go. Hey, the other way I was playing the G is with the third and second finger, then the pinky way up at the top. That'll allow these fingers just to hop up. That's really, that's really useful. I'll do that a lot. One and two and three and four and one. You understand what I'm saying? Third finger, second finger, fourth finger. It's the same notes. 
but it's different fingers, okay? It's all about what's better for what comes before and after that chord. So in this case, going from this shape, these fingers on this G, to this C, that's, that's beautiful. So we just have to hop these up instead of like doing this whole shift over here, you know what I'm saying? So just trying to make it easier on yourself. Like that's that's all I do on the guitar. I try to make it easy on myself, okay? Because I, I, find, I find that the easier I make it on myself, the better it sounds. I can play the more difficult chord shapes, but why? Why would you do that when you don't have to, okay? Call me a wimp guitarist, I don't care. I, I think it sounds good. All right, now um, let's see. So we've done the chords, we've done the rhythm. Um, I, I think we're, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to how to help you. Just refer to the beginning of this video again where I, uh, I play the whole song, okay? Yeah, but you know what? If you need guitar lessons in Houston, Texas, then contact your man Aaron Walker with Spotlight Studios, all right? Appreciate it. See ya. Sorry, I forgot to mention one thing about the rhythm, okay? So on the G chord, he does this more difficult triplet pattern at some point, or twice in the song, I think. So it's like from the F, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, one. I didn't do that very well. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, one. It's not, that's not totally easy. So you could just ignore that if you want to. You could just go F. Two, two, three, four. It just stay the same rhythm. And yeah, then just go back to one. Right there, okay. But it, I'll show you one more time if you're really interested. So let's just do the G. You do the normal rhythm and then you do the triplets. It helps if you say triple it, triple it. One and two and three and four and triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. And that should fit in the same exact amount of time as that first rhythm. As long as this rhythm lasts, that amount of time is going to be the triplets. Four counts of three. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two, three, one. Yeah, and it's something about the way, you know, a triplet's three, four counts of three is 12, and then this is one, two, three, four, that's eight counts, and so they're like divisible, so they, they, they're like, they work together in some difficult to understand way, I need my friend Chris Reedus to help me out, um, but yeah, so it's just, you, you can do that, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave that out, because I demonstrated it, but I didn't explain it, so there's that, okay, all right, see y'all.